Beep boop. Arr. Welcome, YouTubers, to Chatty's Tech Stuff. Hey, YouTubers. I'm just going through my case right now. I just bought four of these ADATA 240 gigabyte SSD drives, and I bought them after already having a solid state for one. I had a solid state and a hard drive. And then I bought a second solid state probably like four or five months ago on top of my disk drive. And then these four, adding it to them, um, I just ran into a lot of problems. <laughs> it was kind of a shit show, you know, crapshoot. Um, I literally, like, first I didn't have enough SATA cables. And then solved that problem. I got SATA cables from off of a friend. Um, then I realized I didn't have enough length on my power supply cables for drives and I solved that problem <laughs> and then I found out I didn't have enough SATA ports on my motherboard for it so I ended up buying a new motherboard which kind of sucks because I actually just got this one not even a year ago so I'm gonna be swapping over to a gigabyte board that's considered it's one of their gaming line boards um I'm not going to be doing that now, but right now I'm just setting up my storage devices so that it'll function. I'm just putting my two solid states and hard drive backup that I originally had going so my computer will function fully until I get the new board. So here's a look at what's going on in there. We got a GTX 970 and the Asus motherboard. We got a H60 water cooler. Um, the power supply is covered by the shroud. It's in a Fantex Ethos Pro case. Um, I actually just got this case. It's a very nice case. It's got a lot of space. Um, it's pretty solid. I was planning on doing some custom water cooling in the future, so it should be pretty solid. But I'm going to have to, you know, pull apart the um, case and start doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, getting back into this, we got the panels for the sides off. Um, just a little bit specs-wise on this, I've got a 4790K i7. Um, very good processor, I love it. Um, I've got some Ares RAM overclocked to 24 megahertz, and um, I've not had too many problems with any of the parts I'm running, and. Um, it's been running really well as I was just very disappointed to <laughs> get $200 in solid state memory and not be able to use it. So, to at least until I get the motherboard, which costed me another $170. But this is the wire management, um, you know, wire management. It looks awful because it's wire management, but you can see we got all these solid state drives up in here um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna pull all the 240s in here because those are the ones that I can't use because I'm planning on doing a raid with four of them so I'm just pulling all of those out now so I gotta pull all the power and SATA that's going to all of those so it's gonna be an interesting you know, a bit of time spent on just removing cables. Um, uh, got my Crucial Ballistics mounted in this special mounting space for SSD that they've got in this case. Um, another nice thing about this case is it comes with a fan controller that came with the case. I think I paid like, this case only cost me like $86, I think. Um, I got a really good sale on Newegg. They had like a bunch of promotional codes. Normally I think it's 99 dollars and cents which is still a fantastic price for this case i absolutely love this case i would buy it in a heartbeat but uh yeah i'm gonna get all these wires up out of here um, you know fun times wire management is always a pain in the butt and i always have issues when i go to boot my computer something's always wrong and you know, I've never built a computer and had 
had it start up the first time, I've always had to unplug and play with something, even in partial rebuilds, like with just like changing a graphics card or a processor. I usually, I don't know, something's always out of place or there's a short somewhere and you have to fix it. So it's it's always an interesting process to try to get your computer to run. But if you like it, it's you know it's it's a fun time. All right, so I got all the extra Santas out. I just don't want to leave them in there hanging around to, you know, short out on anything. Like the motherboard caused shorts for my computer to, you know, not boot. So I'm down to three SATA cables now. So I'm not going to bother plugging in my disk drive because I really don't use that for anything. At least not right now. Um, really just install software and stuff like that. So, what I did is I just pulled all the SATAs out. And I'm going to leave all four of these drives in here. There are, I don't think you can see them because the lighting's kind of crappy. But there are four of those ADATA 240 gig SSDs in there. And I'm just going to leave them in there because I'm going to go back and wire those and p put power to them once I get the new motherboard in. Um, I'm actually kind of sad to see this motherboard that I have now go. It's one of the Z990 model Asus motherboards. Um, It's a fantastic board, honestly. It just doesn't support RAID apparently, and it doesn't have enough SATA ports for my needs now, unfortunately, but it is a very good board. Um, there are a crap load of fan pin connectors on this board. Like, I have probably three or four of them in use, and there's still an empty one there. Um, it's a fantastic board if you don't have an insane amount of storage in your computer, like I'm going to. Um, but it is a very, very good board. And it runs stable overclocks very well, too. Which, it's hard to find a good motherboard for that that doesn't cost a fortune. So, I'm just gonna, you know, cram all this spaghetti back in. I'm not gonna really bother with um, any of the wire management back here too much. Because it's just gonna get pulled apart in a couple days anyways. Other than, I'll probably put the strap back on and Tuck the power cable in, and hopefully everything clears with the wall. Um, there's a lot of good clearance for wire management on this case. So, like normally, you're not gonna get away with how thick this comes off of the wall, but this case has like a good inch to two inches of wire management space, which most cases don't even come close to that. So, if you're looking for a case. I would definitely recommend the Fantex Ethos Pro, which is this case here, and it is a full tower. Alright guys, so I've got everything wired back up. Um, you can see the Mamo's on, it's got the green light going, the mouse is glowing, Our, my um, Razer Death Adder Chroma Stealth going. So. Everything seems to be good. So, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Give me some thumbs up, some likes, share my videos, and um, subscribe, of course. I love you, so make me feel the love because I need it. I'm a whore. One more thing. If you want to see anything reviewed, or me show you anything, just ask in the comments below. And I don't mean my junk for y'all perverts out there. I know there's some dirty thinkers going on around here. Now I ain't about that. Plus it would get blocked because it's YouTube, so, you know, your guys' is lost, but... See you on the next one.